Hi, this is David Swanson. Thanks for including me in this event. Last year, U.S. media commentators and experts were debating between a ground war with U.S. training and arms, which they expected wouldn't work, and a U.S. air war with planes and drones, which they predicted would fail. There is no military solution, they all said, before trying absolutely nothing other than yet another fucking military solution. And of course, they've tried both. They've tried training the people they still call and think of as the natives. They've advertised a pointless doomed effort to kill one's neighbors as part of what they admit is a lack of any real plan, and managed to attract very few recruits. They've trained some 60 at a cost of some $4 million each, armed them to the teeth, and marched them off to fight enthusiastic killers in greater numbers, also armed with U.S. weapons, and apparently that hasn't worked due to their failure to fight well, just as it wouldn't have worked had they fought brilliantly and courageously. The air war has not been the massive bombing of Syria that public pressure was instrumental in stopping in 2013, but it has been sufficient to kill hundreds of civilians while boosting recruitment dramatically for ISIS. Well, Americans plead in chorus, what would you do? What would I do? Look at Iran where you've got one of the two big sects in favor of talking and the other in favor of bombing. The Democratic sect says let's try diplomacy, even while pushing the same lies as the Republicans and Schumers about an Iranian nuclear weapons program and Iranian aggression. Why? Only in Iran. Well, says the chorus, you can't talk to ISIS. Why not? Did you try? Did you try talking with Syria? beyond the chemical weapons conversation, or Iraq, or Russia, or Egypt, or Jordan, or Israel, or Saudi Arabia. Our socialist candidate for president wants the benevolent democracy of Saudi Arabia to take the lead in all the wars, even as it arms the opposite sides of those the U.S. says, sometimes says, it's on. He says this while supporting the Iran agreement and threatening war as an alternative with the all-options-on-the-table euphemism. What we need is honesty. Iran has never had a nuclear weapons program, has no such plans, and is less of a threat to us than our own police or our own pollution. The U.S. should dismantle the so-called missile defense program and begin complying with the non-proliferation treaty itself. It should carry diplomacy to those places where both U.S. sects want war. It should invest in massive actual aid with no strings attached and a price tag far lower than training killers. And it should first and foremost stop arming the region. Most of the weapons in Western Asia are U.S. made. Imagine discussing drugs with a ban on mentioning suppliers. The U.S. is the top supplier of weapons. Stop the flow. Defend the Iran agreement to prevent a U.S. killing spree and then shut down the profiteers that have been demanding it all these years. Peace.